Hey everybody, you just saw the start of the infinite scoring hand, which takes over 10 minutes just to count the score of, and it also breaks past the scoring value cap that Bellacho has set in place, making the score in the game's eyes infinity. And I pulled it off with a little bit of help from Dr. Spectred, or Bellatro University on YouTube, and they're probably one of the best Bellatro players that I know holding many records in the demo, as well as just having a very deep understanding of the game. But today we're going to be checking the seed that has the potential to break the game and reach an infinite score. And the main thing it plays around is using steel cards as well as cryptid spectral cards that will add even more steel cards to our hand, which when stacked up a ton can give us a hand that takes over 10 minutes to process. Also, I'll leave the seed down below and the seed from the All Jokers run that I posted yesterday in the description as well. All right, so this one starts off with Perkyo. And one thing is, should I just get rid of Hex in hopes of making Perkyo negative, or should I just use Hex on Perkyo? Um, I think you will get enough Jokers to make into negative. You know, once you get Blueprint, once you get Brainstorm, you can always make mm -hmm. those negative. That's fair. You don't fair. have to make Perkyo negative also. Okay, so I just get the extra cell value. Yeah, also... Also, it gives you, yeah, like you said, the extra cell value gives you a little bit extra scoring. So now in the next round, you can win in one hand instead mm -hmm. of two hands. And so that's an extra dollar. You know, every dollar counts. True. And then I just start copying Temperance to get money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How's it going, no cap? You know, since it's legendary, it's already $12. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. And Perkeo is so hard to use. There's like so much going on. I know. So I, another thing in this situation, I guess it's the exact same odds. Like, do you go for full house or do you go for straight? Because there's so, four tens and there's also four queens and jacks like combined. Yeah, anytime you go for a full house, you know, it's four outs. And then mm -hmm. the same, like you said, for the straight, if I'm trying to get the 10. But if we go for the 10, there's also like an extra small chance that we get the flush. So True. maybe if we throw the diamonds away, mm -hmm. you know, we could get a spade flush. We could get some hearts. Of course, we get punished. <laughs> and I guess there's, there's also the an odd of just drawing like double queens. So I guess the odds are a little bit higher when you go for the straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have more outs. I guess I should have used Temperance first for the... Uh, uh, well, extra income. You, you get, like, extra interest. You know, maybe 2 or $3 extra interest. But mm -hmm. then here, the Buffoon Pack has the blueprint. Oh, so true. You get the extra value anyway. So and then like I guess I just get this interest. for the extra value as well? Or should I yeah. get this just for consistent to win in one hand? Uh, it's both, right? So you take the, the rare here is more money, and then mm -hmm. also, you know, now straights can one-shot. That's true. Uh, do I ever want to use Temperance for this right now? Because I don't get it after the boss. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think so. Uh, the grabber, you know, the extra hand will just be an extra dollar every mm -hmm. round. Also, if we take this voucher, then it won't show up later, and so we have a better chance of getting other vouchers, maybe. True. Oh, also, yeah, Perkyo creates a negative copy of one random consumable card in your shop. So anything on the right, it'll make a copy, and it doesn't take up a spot, which is mainly yeah. the entire goal. Yeah, when I was doing this sort of thing, I always forgot to use the negative ones. I would just use the regular ones out mm -hmm. of habit. Or sorry, I would use the negative ones, and I would have the regular one left over. Well, that's nice. And I would always forget to move the blueprint. Oh, I know. It's always I. I was playing yesterday. I think dagger was my least favorite. <laughs> I always forgot to move dagger, and then it would just kill my good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah luckily, uh, I guess with it doesn't the, matter. You know, with the order there, with the times four, we don't need to move the blueprint. Yeah. <laughs> we can just leave it on perky. Just game. overkill. Let's see. I assume I want seed money. I assume I buy every voucher whenever I can. Uh, the ones that I don't like are the ones that change the shop. 
Oh yeah, the one that adds you know, like cards the, or the ones that add yeah, planets. Yeah, extra cards, extra tarot, extra planets. Because we really want the jokers mm -hmm. so that we can get you know extra copies of blueprint and brainstorm. Are we caring about a celestial packs that much at all? Like just to survive? So maybe one thing to think about is uh, we want to be using our joker slots for like Perkeo and Blueprint and Brainstorm and things mm -hmm. like gift card for the extra money and stuff like that. So we got so many value jokers that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We want to try to be able to score with no scoring jokers. And so yeah. the way that you do that is, you know, maybe we go four of a kind. Mm -hmm. Or you could level up straights too, but you should have some kind of backup plan. How can I score without any jokers? That makes sense. And I guess if we're hoping to try and get a lot of copies, four of a kind is probably the late game move over like full house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, late late game, we want, you know, enough Pluto cards. That's going to be our base before mm -hmm. we, you know, apply all the steel cards to it. But, you know, it's not that much different between 20 Plutos versus 50 Plutos. And so we just need enough. We don't need a whole lot for the That's short fair. term we're going for you know, what's going to survive the early rounds. That makes sense. And am I ever buying standard packs to try and find the red seal or uh, steel? And just skipping I if think, it's not? Uh, I think we can pretty consistently get the red seal just from the shop. Because just we from have the, the uh, uh, card, deck. yeah. And so, you know, we don't need a rush. Okay. You know, we want to remove all the cards from the deck eventually anyway. That makes sense. And I guess I'm probably not rolling early. It depends. You'll you'll see how much money we get, and then that's true. I guess we get a lot of money. Rolling. And are there any tags we're looking for, like negative? Or are we typically going to play um, out every round if, just because we get perkeo? Yeah, with the perkeo, you know, just dumping out a bunch of extra cards. Uh, it's probably better to not skip. Mm-hmm. So I guess I'm going to go for straight here. Let's see. And with the other one, I get interest up to $50. So I should go and do that. Yep. Yeah. All right, so probably buy every spectral pack I see. Heck yeah, dude. Red seal. Yeah, it could be anything. Could be so I guess just queen and then strengthen it later. Yeah. Pretty easy. Am I buying every arcana pack as well or no? To try and start destroying? Yeah, yeah. Looking for, you know, death and hangman. Mm -hmm. And glass cards are fine too. Because that'll okay. help us remove stuff too. I guess we can start rolling one. So yeah, I probably want gift card here. And then I guess yeah. I want a uh, a fifth joker just to add value to it. Yeah. So, you know, we can afford to reroll here and just pick up, you know, any kind of garbage. Yeah. All right, and then do that. And then I guess if I have the points too, I would blueprint gift card. Uh, wait, it's not compatible, is it? Oh, you're right. Yeah, gift card is like egg. Is it not compatible with any money related? Yeah, any of the like, you know, end of round does a thing. Blueprint doesn't do it. Okay. It is like hard coded per Joker. So like each one, the dev decided whether it's compatible or not. But like generally the rule is the end of round one's incompatible. And then the, when you select a blind, it is compatible like a uh, Cardomancer. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, for folks uh, just tuning in here, the Perkeo legendary gives us a negative copy of our consumables. And so we can kind of stack them up forever. 
So I guess now I'm probably just rolling down to 50 each turn. Yeah, I mean, we can, you know, you can save your money and spread out your rerolls if you want, or you can just dump it all. It really stops mattering. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, I guess for scoring, I mean, I guess I just want to keep you. I guess you value up every turn. Yeah, if uh, maybe. Never mind. Erosion for scoring seems kind of okay. Yeah, it could be good. And I'll drop down. Okay. Long term, you know, fortune teller is good, but not good here yet. Mm hmm. Yeah, so another thing the gift card does not only does it boost the sell value of your jokers for boost temperance, the, yeah. it makes all the consumables cost more. Oh, I didn't know it boosted. Oh, it could boost everything. Yeah, and so, you know, you get to a point where my temperance i get more money from selling it than i get from using it it's kind of funny <laughs> um i guess i'm still just digging for tins Yeah, since we have access to so much money from Temperance, it doesn't really hurt us if we play extra hands. Yeah, that's true. I also think Flush might get us here. Yeah, it could be. You know, with the copy on the Erosion, mm -hmm. should do it. Yeah. But then you got to remember to move the Blueprint, mm -hmm. which I always forget. Okay, that's great. Another hand. Uh, am I ever doing judgment here? Like for the randoms, or am I always just taking money? Um, me personally, I just go for the money. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's easier than like trying to figure out what Joker I want to sell. That's and fair. And then you can always just re-roll in the shop with the money. Here, I probably buy. I'm fine if it copies it. For the hanged man? Yeah, fine if we hit hanged man. You know, it's not necessarily what we want to hit, but mm -hmm. it's fine if it does. I guess death as well. Yeah. And death, I'm just creating a copy of that queen, hopefully. Yeah, the queen with the red seal right now. Do Maybe I ever do this? I know it adds two cards total. Um, but am I just am I just hoping to get the like the glass and, or the steel and stuff later from tarot cards? Yeah, we'll get it later. This isn't. You know, you just need the one and chariot at any point that makes sense also thank you no cap for the 21 and i guess here i'm just destroying any uh low cost cards prioritize yeah. are with the low ones mm -hmm. it makes it easier to get straights higher straights if we want to do that mm -hmm. and so here like am i just using both hangman and hoping to copy temperance still yeah, I think that's the move. As well as using the death. Yeah, yeah, you can always get more hangman later. I mean, we're already down to 46 cards. Mm -hmm. It's only round seven. Let's see, I might just go for flush here. I know we're going for like, you know, crazy high scoring run here, but, uh, you know, kind of in general, a mistake that I see new players make is just picking up too many cards from the standard packs. Mm -hmm. You know, you get the enhanced cards, you want to add them to your deck, but then it makes it harder for you to find the good stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think just thinning out your deck is so important because I guess that's like sort of the same as like, because there's not really card draw in this game but i think thinning yeah, out your deck yeah. kind of gives that uh just buying justice to get a destroy sure yeah campfire campfire seems fun with all this but i assume it's not worth it i mean with all the extra shop rerolls you can always you know just buy and sell consumables that show up mm -hmm. and so on average it'll be much bigger than the uh the order the, the order the straights rare mm -hmm. that makes sense and i guess that this can keep us alive if we have to like if we have to spend yeah, money yeah 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 
See, when I did this, I didn't have chat to help me remind me about the blueprint. <laughs> Am I just, I'm pulling the trigger on these whenever I see them for three bucks, I assume. Hey, or I yeah, guess, <laughs> I guess, is it ever a problem? Like, because if ever, let's say everything has an enhancement, then you can't negative it. I assume it's not a problem because it's very, like, very rarely hits. And I, mean, I, I guess in this situation, is, like these it, that is the problem, is you don't want to hit blueprint. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we will get other filters. Uh, that's we'll be funny. Able to put negative. On. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're copying. Yeah, you're copying you. Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, if you didn't know, what it does is it's a 50-50 coin flip between your oldest joker and your newest joker. Oh, really? So, so it'll it'll never hit gift card or erosion? It'll always be blueprint or campfire? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was tech like this was a one out of eight hitting because it's a one out of four and then it's a 50-50? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. That makes more sense. So I guess... I guess if I'm going for like a low straight, I just glass one of the lower cards. But I guess I don't really care about straight because I have campfire anyways. Yeah, we could do whatever now. Yeah, um, I might just go for flush. Can I get a price check on the temperance? Uh, 39. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, temperance with the gift card is so good. I didn't even think about that. Let's see. I will go hanged man. All right. Well, now there's no risk, so I can. <laughs> All right. Now you don't hit. Yeah. Um. Is just having two per KO here better or no? I think having the blueprint is better because yeah. then you can use the blueprint to copy i can copy whatever i want it's more flexible yeah mm -hmm. okay so it is sad <laughs> we couldn't have gotten this earlier i'll copy you imagine if temperance worked with sell value of your consumables as well <laughs> That would be very niche and very insane. <laughs> okay, nice. The four broke. I guess I should start trying to level up stuff. And I guess I can yeah, use so some here, of these like said, uh, You know, your backup scoring option, your joker list scoring option. Mm -hmm. um, we want to take... The chariot before we open the arcana pack oh wait i just saw you do it my bad <laughs> got a little bit of delay on the stream oh this one oh yeah you're right because then we get to look at our cards yeah there's always a chance it's not necessarily a high chance but there's mm. always a chance uh and i'm not wanting the planet voucher correct because that just gums up the shop when i'm wanting to yeah. see jokers Yeah, maybe now, you know, we can kind of just go wild mm -hmm. with all the planets, if you want. Yeah, I feel like I should buy them just for consistency. I guess I could also just, like, like this one, just buy, sell the stone, stack up campfire a little bit. Yeah, we don't need it to be, like, very big, but, you know, getting it mm -hmm. up to, like, times four or five or whatever then you just kind of know it's good i feel like i definitely want this right yeah emily's pretty huge uh you don't necessarily want a ton of them like you don't mm -hmm. want five of them but just the first one is really good oh i have no room 
You fool. All right. And I guess... When do you stop re-rolling? About 20 bucks, maybe? <laughs> uh, I guess I don't have room for yeah, buy-sell anymore, so... I would roll to 15, 15 mm -hmm. bucks, at least okay. for now. I and guess I, temperance gives us, you know, plus a hundred dollars every round. Yeah, so true. We do have a little bit of flexibility there. And then immolate. I assume I'm still wanting to keep my high cards just for now to survive. Uh, or does now it matter? Maybe erosion is big enough, and we got the campfire that it doesn't matter. Like we could play three of a kind and still score, you know, That's twenty thousand points. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and immolate. I don't want you to copy. Yeah, for folks just tuning in, this is a seeded run. Uh, this is our first-ish attempt at this, so we're kind of going in blind. We don't know exactly what to expect, but it is seeded, technically. We uh, picked this seed because it starts with the Perkeo Legendary and then also Blueprint to copy it. Okay, yeah, we're, we are well above. <laughs> <laughs> so you see so you don't have to worry about leveling up the campfire too much yeah okay so we're hoping for i guess just strength i guess we can also red seal this king now i guess i want to look so you are clubs so i guess it doesn't matter which one i choose here yeah actually uh there's a case for maybe you make different suits mm -hmm. so like I ran into the situation on my seed where uh, I got the heart debuff boss and all my kings were hearts. And I oh, like, true. But okay. then, you know, with the shop re-rolling, I was able to find uh, the moon tarot card and then turn all my hearts into clubs. <laughs> that makes sense. Cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, maybe there's a case for having a mix. Um, I guess just Hanged Man here. I feel like hang is Hanged Man the priority, like over, because like 20 bucks doesn't really matter with Temperance, and then two random. I'm just hoping for Hanged yeah, Man anyways. Yeah, yeah, the card removal is going to be first. You know, like we asked the question before, do I want to copy Hanged Man with Perkeo? And the answer is maybe, mm -hmm. you know, instead of copying with ter uh, Temperance. So like every Hanged Man is worth 20 bucks for sure. And then here probably... Emperor to hope for steel or hangman over just 20 bucks. Yeah, it just could be whatever. And then I guess I get two cells anyways. Have you ever found any use with a uh, red card? Uh, just in general? I am somewhat... Uh... You know, what I advise players to do is kind of build broad, leave mm -hmm. yourself open to different possibilities in the late game. And so with booster packs, usually I take something each time. And so red card hasn't really worked out for me personally. That's fair. Am I buying showman here? So the main thing we want to do with showman is, you know, try to get more copies of blueprint mm -hmm. um, or maybe a second gift card. And so I think it's totally fine to take it though now we're starting to ask this question you know if we have all of our joker slots filled up you know how are we scoring um, yeah and i think we're still good i think we're still good with just the campfire do you think campfire is better erosion than erosion here? here yeah well i guess right here technically erosion is bigger but mm -hmm. you know we'll get enough planet cards that you know maybe it balances out that makes sense. I don't have room for this. I mean, I guess Hanged Man is better than Justice. Uh, I would drop the dead. Oh, you but think I so? See that you yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter super much. So, yeah. uh, you know, I think you could go either way with that. 
I like the extra glass just for the card removal. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what are our hand levels? Uh, level 3, 4 of a kind. Level 2, flush, straight, and 3 of a kind. Alright, so maybe uh, 4 of a kind or a full house? Mm-hmm. Nice. And then I assume I'm deathing here. Yeah. I want you copied on there. Yeah, I think we're good here. But if you were worried about it, you know, you can always copy campfire with blueprint and then you're definitely good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll level up full house as well. And I assume four of a kind is going to be much easier to hit once we completely thin out our deck. Yeah, kind of long term. And, you know, it's coming along. We've got 34 cards left. Ooh. Nice little chariot for the king. Um, Am I ever wanting to use sigil? Probably not. Yeah, I think uh, flushes are not the move. Mm-hmm. Uh, is Wraith ever worth it? Because <laughs> then I just get my money immediately back with Temperance. Yeah, so uh, what I did on my seed was I saved up a couple copies of Wraith. Mm -hmm. I spent all my money, used like three Wraiths. It gave me a uh, blueprint and then also Baron. And then I, you know, sold all my consumables for $50 each to make up for it. <laughs> yeah, I might just buy it and hold on to it. Yeah, especially with Showman, so you have the possibility of getting an extra blueprint. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't have space for him. Yeah, and that's fine. Oh, don't forget to move per KO. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you are wanting steel. Man, how can you see him? <laughs> I know, I hate when it gets to like 40 or 50, you can like barely find where the one you want is. Let's see, so I'm wanting four of a kind or full house. Oh, never mind. I just won with <laughs> with that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so late game, we do want to transition into high card. Mm hmm As soon as it's safe to do it. So I guess if I find high card over something... Like this, like full house, I'd probably just go ahead and start high card. Yeah, maybe that's it. Okay, so we have Brainstorm here. Yeah, so now this is tough. Well, Temperance is already at 50. So am I getting rid of gift card? Yeah, I guess the question is, you know, gift card increases the value of our consumables. Mm -hmm. Are we ever trying to use that for money? And so in my run, I had a bunch of Pluto cards and then mm -hmm. I, you know, raised them up to like $40 Pluto cards. But I think 
you know, since we have the temperance, we don't need that technology. And so I think it's safe to get rid of the gift card here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Because then I can get three temperance a turn now. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, and I'm wanting to buy cryptid. That is the one. So, I guess I'm just not using Wraith. Like, am I just using all of these up and then buying Cryptid to guarantee copy Cryptid? Yeah, yeah. I would say now we get rid of the campfire and then roll for, you know, we want Baron is rare. Mm -hmm. so, I'm, so I get rid of campfire and then just use my Wraiths to try and find Baron. Yeah, you can actually, you can buy the Cryptid and then do some re-rolling first. Since we have that okay, to yeah, get my money down. Yeah. And then, you know, just take every planet just to be safe. Because mm -hmm. we're going to lose our campfire here. Uh, is idle? I guess we're only playing high card, so idle doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, you know... Uh, there's the one build where you want to play the cards and get the re-triggers with like Idol and Sock and Buskin and uh, what's the other le legendary? True Belay. Mm -hmm. And then the opposite build is the Held in Hand build. Okay. And I think it's cool that, you know, there's kind of like those different build options. Okay, now it's Cell Campfire. Go for both of these Wraiths. Hope for the best. Yeah. Because I guess All I could right, hit Blueprint money, and no Blastorm. Okay, that's good. So now, <laughs> oh damn, dude! <laughs> am I am I selling showman or I'm keeping showman to try uh, and rate something I else? I think we keep showman. I just need to. I guess I need to negative something now. Yeah. So now, even before Baron or Mime, also maybe what we're looking for is ectoplasm. Mm -hmm. Maybe two ectoplasm. So now I'm just selling wraith. Yeah. Am I worried about score at all? Let's take a look. What's the run info say? I have... A four of a kind's pretty strong, and straight's pretty strong. Yeah, I think... Uh... And then we have four... Does it copy the polychrome, or no? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't copy the polychrome. Yeah. So, you know, maybe four of a kind with a, a red steel card isn't yeah that? i guess i can use so should i use all my temperance right now mm, yeah if we want to start making copies of cryptid we can dump the temperance i guess there's like this weird optimization of do I want to build up more money early and then mm -hmm. make co copies of Cryptid later? Though, I think the easy thing to do is just, we'll go for Cryptid, you know. Uh, we want to move the Showman all the way to the right. Mm -hmm, like this? Yeah. And so for folks who didn't realize, uh, the Brainstorm copying Blueprint will copy whatever Blueprint is copying. <laughs> I guess I can also so actually what we could do is you know kind of in an emergency situation mm -hmm. you can just use one cryptid and make a four of a kind or yeah, like that... make the steel cards that makes and then sense. we're good like I feel like full house probably doesn't get us there yeah, maybe just to be safe, uh, use Cryptid on the King. Mm -hmm. Just one Cryptid. And then we have this, and this should be enough. Yeah, yeah. And I guess it doesn't 11, matter 000. where. If it doesn't work, you know, we can always make more Kings. Okay, so cryptid. we're at 12,000 with that. Okay. So that you know, was barely there, mm -hmm. but that's okay. 
We've got a very wide safety net with all the cryptids. Yeah, true. So here I'm probably not Wheel of Fortune because it'll hit Brainstorm. I guess it could hit Showman. Yeah, I think here it's fine to use one wheel. Um, but then, you know, we want to have at least two jokers that we can make negative. Mm -hmm. And I guess I should be a little bit more conservative with money because I'm not getting the temperance anymore. Yeah, technically. Yeah, maybe a thing that we can do is we can make some red gold cards. Mm-hmm. I would get money off that. Yeah. Let's see, so I should probably crypt it again. Yeah, I think this time just to be safe. Yeah, because I think with two kings we had 12k, so one extra king should probably get us up. And I guess we have six yeah, hands yeah, to yeah. play. Every extra steal is times two, times mm -hmm. 2.2. Okay, so that's 27k. I hate oh I hate when showman gives you <laughs> like so many because you can only pick yeah. one. Yeah, I've gotten it one time where I got four Plutos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, for this build right now, that's what we want. But at the time, I yeah, true. Sad. Uh, I'm never buying this, correct? Because <laughs> I'm just wanting to copy the cryptids, the wraith. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, someone said they tried the seed already. They got the imp. Oh. I believe in us. I think with chat here, with the team, I mm -hmm. think we can do it. I think once we hit a negative, start to add more, we're feeling good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, I assume. Do we even have any jacks? We have a couple jacks. The left one's gotta be a king, right? Yeah, gotta be a king. But do we have. Let's see, we have one, two. We have two kings that aren't steel. Yeah, maybe if you do the second one. Wait a second. Uh Oh, they're all. Yeah, the second one, because the first one could be spades, but the second mm -hmm. one won't be spades. Okay. And I'm probably playing this, because if it's four of a kind, I'm happy. If it's... Yeah, even two pair could be good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess I need to do it again. Oops. <laughs> do I need to do it one more time or... Because this could be a jack, but I guess our two pair... Yeah, our two pair is pretty low. I would do it just to be safe. Safe slash lazy. Then I don't have to calculate it. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, You could do with the tens because we know the tens. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, I guess I could have just held it to help Pluto. 
I don't think it's wrong to get Mars, at least short term. Mm -hmm. I guess overstock is also huge. Gives us a 50% higher chance of finding what we want. Yeah, way more purchasing power. Uh, is Invisible worth it over Showman, or am I still just wanting Showman for duplicates? Uh, I think Invisible guarantees a duplicate, whereas like Showman doesn't. Mm -hmm. So maybe we don't need Showman anymore. Um, is glass still worth it or am I just really wanting to copy cryptids like guaranteed? I think glass is not worth it anymore. You know, it's just one in four. Yeah, true. So am I wanting or am I caring about gold here with the devil? I think, I think it is worth it. I think it is worth it to make at least one gold card mm -hmm. or make it be a couple gold cards. Okay. Just so that we have more purchasing power. We can find ectoplasm easier. That makes sense. And I guess now the odds of it hitting are very, very low. Yeah, yeah. So am I happy to turn one of these kings gold? Just this one right here on the left? Yeah, I would go gold king rather than the gold queen because mm -hmm. then, you know, I don't feel bad about making copies with cryptid. And so we can use a couple cryptids here just for the money. And then I can play the full house. Yeah, or I think the four of a kind we leveled up more, and then that gives us more steel. True, the yeah. Four of a kind. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess folks, mime is also really in... big for us. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What's that? I was going to say mime seems really good for us for the extra money as well. Yeah, I mean, definitely we want to get that eventually, mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, short term for the money and then long term for the steel. Yeah, for folks just tuning in, we're saving the cryptids to try to make a mega hand. And so, you know, Scooty's done in the past, you know, the high card build with all the steel cards. So we're going to try to do that, but with like 200 cards in hand. I mean, I guess I'm buying any negative because it doesn't hurt. Well, we don't want... The oh, I, yeah, I guess Invisible Joker hits it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, if we didn't have Invisible Joker, I would say, yeah, sure, why not? Because, you know, it blocks duplicates. You won't get any duplicates in the shop, especially mm -hmm. the rares. I guess I'd just rather have copies here. Yeah, we're, we're done with Chariot. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. There's like a skip that will give you, you know, I don't know, $40 or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we just get way more value from just playing instead of skipping. Yeah, I think some of the tags are very, very weak. But I guess it's hard to balance them. Yeah, uh, I think on the higher stakes, like on gold stake, uh, they're much more takeable. You know, True, skip especially when you don't get money from the small blind. Yeah, it's brutal, man. Uh, am I wanting more gold here or more steel? Because I do need more steel to probably just win. Yeah, I think let's make the gold cards, but then play the gold cards as like four of a kind. Because mm -hmm. we do need the steel for the scoring. Like this? And then we can always draw the gold cards later. I don't know if that gets us there. I guess we have the queen as well. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so uh, each steel card is times two. So mm -hmm. if we had two less steel cards, that would be 30,000. Okay.
Yeah, for folks who are wondering, it's a uh, 10 to the 300th is what we're going for. That's, you know, the game records it as infinity. I guess I also shouldn't be rolling for ectoplasm right now, just in case invisible joker. Yeah, we'll go invisible joker first and then get the ectoplasm after. All right, so we're at 80k on this one. Yeah, so now we need the three steel cards. Four of a kind with three steel. Am I caring about extra money? Probably not at the moment. Yeah, at the moment we're good. You know, reserve the right to change our mind later. Mm hmm Ooh, ectoplasm right after invisible. So I'm selling invisible. Yeah. Dip blueprint. And then just ectoplasm to negative the brainstorm. Yeah. And we got the voucher. Am I caring about copying ectoplasm? Mm. I guess the odds are so low. It's like 5% right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe what we could do is we can take ectoplasm now. And maybe we get a copy. Maybe we don't get a copy. Um and then we're not going to use it until after we have a joker that we actually want to buy that's fair we might be getting to a point where uh three of a kind is worth more than four of a kind because because of the steel, of the steel yeah yeah Our three of a kind is level seven as well yeah Yeah, if you look at the scaling numbers, if you compare like flush five compared to high card, mm -hmm. flush five is 12 times the score. And so, you know, if you just have uh, three red steel cards, high card is worth more than a flush five. Does this work? Does blueprint copy blueprint like just Perkyo in the middle? Yep, we get the perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, Perkeo's just, you know, having a good time there in the middle. <laughs> All right, we did not hit Ectoplasm, but that's fine. You know, maybe we'll hit it eventually. And I guess the extra hand size helps us a decent amount here. Heck yeah. Uh, three steel gets us there. Three steel? Yeah, yeah. so we play two. But now is three of a kind... I guess the chip value is still good. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, double chips and double molt is times four mm -hmm. compared to an extra steel card would be a times two. Yeah, someone asked earlier, like, you know, do I play with a calculator? Uh, I don't because it's kind of tedious. I just kind of eyeball it. And I think rather than trying to figure out, you know, how much is this hand worth, just figure out well, I know in the previous round how much I got. And so do I want the same or more, mm -hmm. you know, with the steel cards? So like here, is it still worth trying to copy ectoplasm or like just buying judgments? Uh, I think because we have enough money for rerolls, we don't need judgment. Okay. We don't want three ectoplasms, but we do want two. Mm hmm So maybe there's a consideration for, you know, as long as we hold on to ectoplasm, there's not going to be ectoplasm in the shop. Oh, true. So I should maybe just go ahead and use it? Because yeah, now maybe. the odds of it hitting are very low. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what kind of jokers show up in the shop, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, getting the showman now, I wouldn't hate that.
casually pass on $50 temperance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see so here, like, should I just go ahead and ectoplasm, you think? Yeah. Do we get the, uh, the extra coffee dipped? Uh, br what is it? Brainstorm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, is DNA worth it here? Oh, short term, yes. Long term, we could do better. But what it allows us to do is you play a king, just one steel king, mm -hmm. you get four copies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and so maybe now we're in high card territory, we could just play high card only. Mm -hmm. As long as you remember to keep you know, shuffling our jokers. <laughs> um. Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> good. And then the golds will help a lot uh, too. Okay, I guess maybe million? I could DNA the gold. I think what you want to do is discard the steel ones, looking for the gold ones, mm -hmm. but then still DNA on the steel. Okay. Because, you know, what allowed us to score there is the extra steel cards got added to our hand, and so it kind of increased our hand size. And then same here, like DNA is just better than judgment. Like the average card is going to be worse than DNA. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I could have stealed the queen there. And then magic trick, I am never buying. Yeah. If our joker slots weren't already full... Uh, it's not crazy to take cola as much cola as we can. No, yeah, to get the extra tags. The, uh, yeah, specifically the voucher tag, because you can only get one voucher per ante, and so it's pretty huge to get extra vouchers. Oh, I see. Because can you get re-given the same voucher? Like, if I don't buy magic trick, can I see it again on the next ante? Yeah, and so that's like you know a little bit stinky, but mm -hmm. uh, you know if you buy this voucher, then the upgraded one shows up anyway, and so it doesn't really remove it from the pool, you know? Yeah, so we can just throw away all the steel ones and then, you know, try to get as much gold as we yeah. can. Yeah, and now I'm playing steel. Yeah. Just to get money. Because I guess our deck size doesn't really matter. Correct? Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, I wouldn't mind trading DNA for something that scored more points. Mm -hmm. So maybe we're looking for Mime at Uncommon or we're looking for the Baron as the Rare. Uh, does aura matter to attempt? Because I guess it doesn't, like, held hand doesn't matter what uh, effects they have, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter super much. But, you know, it doesn't cost us anything either. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, Deja Vu doesn't matter, I believe. Yeah. I guess I could have bought Pluto there. Classic. <laughs> Yeah, maybe now uh, Hangman doesn't matter as much if our deck is just all steel anyway. Yeah, just because we're very, very rarely finding the other ones. Yeah, which is fine. We, we got the technology. Mm. 
Did we check with the bosses? I wasn't paying attention. Um. Ooh. I guess DNA. It's yeah. a verdant leaf. All right, that's okay. DNA has done the thing that it needed to do. Mm hmm. So I guess I'm just not rolling because I don't want to find a good Joker anyways. Yeah. So maybe now we're going to need to use a cryptid or two to get like the the mega four of a kind. Well, will DNA still copy the cards even if it's debuffed? Yes, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe yeah, now we use DNA to copy the gold one instead. Oh, oh sorry. Man, and the, then now the I can stream see. delay is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess because right, we're so not we DNAing the... anymore, so. Yeah, we don't need the cryptid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. I guess and the DNA also MP. helped with just winning the rounds. But if we find Baron or something. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah, also yeah. score really well. Yeah, and so this is what I was saying. You know, even if you get into the later antes where you can't score enough, mm -hmm. you can use one or two cryptids. You're getting so many extras per round. True. Yeah, someone in the chat said we got the we got the cola slot now. If we get the cola. True. Level 10 high card is actually kind of huge for us. <laughs> uh, am I wanting the ectoplasm here? Ooh. For the other brainstorm? I just got the other voucher for the extra hand size. I think this is where we pick it up and then we just hold on to it. Okay. Because we, we haven't want found... The extra hand size is right now extra money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we have enough ectoplasm. The only thing we need now is one copy of Mime and one copy of Baron. And that's it. We've got infinite score. And we basically have enough cryptids. Yep. I mean, we could always have more and go for longer if we want. Mm hmm. Just gotta make sure where's my ectoplasm at. There it is. <laughs> uh, I assume skipping yeah, for maybe one rare. The ectoplasm all the way to the left. Oh no! <laughs> Did that? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I don't know if that's better. <laughs> I might keep it over there. Uh, who knows? Yeah, is skipping for a rare worth here or no? Just to get the. Four more cryptids. Uh, not for a random rare. Yeah. Yeah, I guess something to ask is like, you know, how many rerolls, shop rerolls, is it going to take me to find a rare? Mm hmm. Okay, so four still gets us there pretty easily, so we don't have to use any cryptids at the moment. Yeah. I guess I'm still buying Arcanas for, like, Temperance and stuff, and I know Hangman's not the best, but yeah. still something. Yeah, it's like a positive expected value. Uh, get DNA back, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's some technology. <laughs> it keeps us from having to use cryptids, I suppose. Yeah. Make sure we copy Parkeo before yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah before we leave the shop. All right, let me find my. Oh no! There you go. 
<laughs> See, if it's on the left, you don't have to fish for it. You know where it is. <laughs> True. So I'm discarding for gold still for a little bit of money. Yeah. Am I caring about copying golds? Um, we could. Yeah. So if we do copy the gold, we we need the Steel Kings to score. Mm hmm. Um. I think yeah. I'll, if I'll if we can one. get there with just the Steel Kings on the scoring, uh, then I think it's fine to make extra gold ones. Yeah, so there, if we play, you know, four of a kind with three steel, that'll work. I could just do this. We, uh, yeah, we just... don't get the redraw because we have the inflated hand size. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> From DNA. So three steel probably hits there, yeah. Yeah, three steel is enough. Maximize our money. Super greedy. Yeah, we'll put we'll put ectoplasm all the way over there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> At what point is looking for level ups on Pluto not really worth anymore? Um, maybe 20? Yeah. Though, you know, the packs are free, kind of. <laughs> yeah, true. Times 10 on the Steel Joker is hilarious. That's a lot. <laughs> right, no discards. Um, I think five is enough though, right? Yeah. So I can copy the, gold again. The gold one, that should be fine. If it doesn't work, we just play another hand. True. All right, someone wants to know how much longer until infinite score? Uh, it depends. We're looking for two specific jokers. The Baron gives us another times 1.5 on all our kings, and the Mime copies all of the steel effects. And I think if we get either of those, then we've got the infinite score. and busking kind of funny you know we got all the the face cards but then we don't want it <laughs> sock and busking so strong for an uncommon yeah yeah, yeah. It, you know it's situational but you know when it's going off it's going off for sure mm -hmm. yeah so we didn't get there with the high card so maybe now we use one cryptid or i guess four of a kind also does it no that's way better four of a kind with the steel yeah, i think this should be yeah yeah so maybe now uh this card to find as many steel as you can and then copy gold with mm -hmm. high card and then play the four of a kind after i think like that loop works yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, for folks who don't already know, Cryptid copies a card. We get to pick what card, and it adds two copies to our hand. And so if you have a bunch of them, you can get a mega big hand. Negative Seltzer looks pretty cool. No, it doesn't do much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the negatives look pretty sweet, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite negative art? I really like, I can't remember what it's called. Just art in general. The uh, the one that gives you a tarot pack, like a one out of two chance whenever you open a pack. Yo, that's my Hallucination favorite Hallucination or something. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Yeah. 
people people misunderstand they hate it they're like oh you know it doesn't do the thing but i love it the hallucination <laughs> oh this is the perfect hand mm -hmm. damn truly galaxy brain right now <laughs> All we have to do is find one joker. <laughs> yeah, and we got we got the money, we got the technology. Mm-hmm. Oh, what color is negative red card? Do you know? Because I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got the... Invisible Joker again? Get rid of DNA. Yeah. We found so many of these. <laughs> Erosion's never gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me too. I got down to like 10 cards left in the deck and I jumped back up to 100 cards in the deck. Play only one hand. Uh-oh. Alright, well you better calculate it. <laughs> That's not a good draw. <laughs> That's not a good draw. <laughs> what is all this? Hey, we got the safety net. We got the... We oh, do. We, uh, did we make too many gold cards or was that a little bit ambitious? <laughs> I think it's like half and half. We definitely yeah, need fine. to... Cryptid. Yeah twice we just we drew the wrong half of our deck <laughs> probably maybe three times to be safe i think we have seven steel reds yeah, i would go three to be safe yeah yeah Because of the stream delay, when you shipped it and I didn't hear, you know, tragedy, I'm like, oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hieroglyph, no, because minus one hand. Like, does it ever make sense? It just makes the rounds a little bit easier. Uh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's worth it. Okay. Uh, you know, the one extra hand is just one extra dollar. That's true. Yeah, we have five hands. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we're struggling to score, you know, that's costing us, you know, cryptid. That's true. Hey, it's our guy. Mm -hmm. The hallucination. We uh, can use the extra hands. We have the freedom to experiment. True, and I guess I can discard for more golds, for more money. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, for folks who are asking in the chat, it's uh, it's Blotro University on YouTube. Um, sometimes I do wacky stuff like this. Uh, in the past, I've done like super high scoring runs. Uh, but mostly what I'm working on right now, uh, I'm trying to get the completion, you know, get everything unlocked and win all the gold stakes and stuff like that. And as I'm going through, uh, I'm recording the runs and trying to explain what's going on. And so, you know, trying to make it as educational as possible for new players, you know, still just trying to improve your success rate. At what point is just the cryptids good enough without the jokers? Uh, I think if we get up to 150, mm -hmm. then it's fine.
I think we have enough to just play a couple of hands to keep all these golds. Maybe not. Maybe I have to play a gold. Yeah, like I said, we have the extra hands. We can kind of like play around with it. Mm hmm. I assume I sell invisible before buying these spectrals. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, another blue. I don't know if it matters super much. Give me something good. Hey, there's that aura. We could always take the chance. Yeah, for folks who didn't already know, it's one in six, you get polychrome. I was just only per KO, just copying so many of these. <laughs> I haven't found any of the scoring jokers. Yeah. Hey, right now, Cryptid is a scoring joker. If we got to use one That's each true. round. Yeah. Yeah, we might so have to use get... one. Yeah, this is how you get to like, you know, anti-30, anti-40. Mm -hmm. Actually, 39 is the max. Is a... Uh, you just figure out, okay, how many cryptids do I need to use per round? One cryptid, or do I need to use two cryptids? Because I think here I might have to use one or two, because it might discard two of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I would do it just to be safe. Yeah. Then we don't have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of light on Pluto right now. Mm-hmm. Though the difference between, you know, right now we're level 10 and then level 20, the difference is only like times four. It's two steel cards. Hold up, what do I. I only have. Yeah, I only have the seed money. Yeah, we're a little bit light on cash. Mm hmm. I wonder if I've copied the ectoplasm at all. I don't think I have. Oh, I did. I think. <laughs> I think I saw it. Yeah, look at that guy in there. Oh, there it is. Oh. I guess I can sell it for four bucks. Because I don't yeah, want to copy yeah. more. Yeah, if we get like a wait, 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 oh, what was it? Yeah, the, uh, the burnt joker. You discard one. Oh, high true. Card. You had to level up high card. You get six levels. <laughs> oh yeah, Copy true. The, uh, oh, that would have been good. Different. Yeah, if we if we get a good scoring joker, we can use the ectoplasm. I probably need to ectoplasm here. Or not ectoplasm, cryptid. Yeah. I don't know how many times. I guess we'll just see. Let's try one, and then you can always like use another. Okay. Yeah, burnt joker is one of those that, uh, you know, it's not always good, and so it's easy to forget about. Mm hmm.
Man, no luck in the shop. Yeah, with no. This, uh, mime. Let's see, ten million. Yeah, maybe while you're cooking, I'll calculate. You know how many times twos it takes with the cryptids. Mm-hmm. You know, even without mime or even without Baron. True. That'd be something. Get infinite score with zero jokers. <laughs> yeah, because I'm using two cryptos right now. I guess I did keep some gold for money. Don't worry, the Mega Buffoon Pack's gonna have it right here. It is not. Wait, so Ectoplasm, it doesn't minus, does it minus two or is it just like the additional? Because like already, like it's just one extra minus? Because I already had the first one? Yeah, it's gonna be minus two. Total or additional? Alright, what was that? Because, like, the first ectoplasm was minus one. Is this another minus one, or is it, like, minus so minus three total? Oh, it's this is a minus two for a minus three total. Okay. Yeah. And that's, you know, to prevent you from, you know, copying ectoplasm with Perkeo and just getting infinite jokers. That makes sense. All right. Uh, I calculated how many steel kings it mm -hmm. takes to get the infinite score. Do you want to guess? Without any scoring jokers. Yeah, with just red steel. Oh, it's got to be a lot. Um, I think like 200 maybe? It's uh, 900. It's Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, but Cryptid gives us two each. <laughs> True. So, uh, you know, if we just get up to 400 cryptids, that does it, right? <laughs> we'll find it one of these days. No repeat hand types, that's fine. Okay, if high card doesn't work, then we go, you know, a pair. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was having to use two with three golds. Because I think I still want the money. Okay, it yeah, was the, close. Uh, another... Uh oh wait, so we can't do that anymore? <laughs> do I need... A Should... pair works. Yeah, I could pair of gold or I could use another cryptid and then pair the silver to get the money off the gold. Yeah, maybe we have enough cryptids we can convert them into cash. All right, someone said, okay, 17 more rounds. That's uh, six more antis, and then we'll have enough. Assuming we don't use any cryptids. Yeah, but we're <laughs> using at least two now. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, do I care about this voucher? Uh, Sure, why not? It, this is one of those where if we just buy it, then it won't show up again. That's fair. I think I value the hand space over the cola. Yeah, uh, short term. Yeah. Oh, 
Let's right, see. We just need a casual 300 million. Yeah. And I still want the money, I think. Yeah. So I'm probably using Cryptid three times. Yeah. Out of six. We're still net three Cryptids. Mm hmm. I don't know, man. I think we still got it, but it is. Oh, that wasn't. Kinda tough. That wasn't enough. <laughs> four cryptids. Yeah, I think we're up to four cryptids now. Or am I having to use five? I think we just got to use the gold cards, and maybe. Yeah. That's fair. We just need to float. We just need to survive until we hit mine, and mm -hmm. then we're free. Am I ever spectral packing? Mm, maybe we don't need it anymore. Okay, we found mime. Fantastic. Right. So ectoplasm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I think we just have it with mime, don't we? So, Mime have... is going to give us an extra, let's see here. Because we have six things to copy the Mime. Oh, so, yeah, we got a lot of re-triggers. I got I to gotta, I gotta do the calculations, <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> I think we've got it. I guess we can also just see how strong it is here. All right. Pop quiz. <laughs> it's your it's time for your math test. Uh we've got with mine being copied, mm -hmm. each king triggers eight times. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, how many kings does it take now to reach uh, 10 to the 300? So, we needed, what was it, 800 cryptids? So, now we need 100 cryptids, so 200 kings? That's it, you got it. So, that means we've done it. So, we have enough. <laughs> we've got infinite score in right. NT12. Well, I'm going to roll down all the money, see if we can't find a Baron. <laughs> and then we'll go for it. Or we make the strongest campfire. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, there is Baron! <laughs> we did it. So you sell Perkeo, get Baron. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could try to go like infinite, infinite. Ah, you know, true, like true. Anti thirty or whatever, but we'd be here for like another seven hours. Yeah. And now we hit polychrome on the Baron. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. I assume copying <laughs> mime is just the best. Wait. Uh. Okay, <laughs> our, our diamonds were debuffed. I thought we had diamonds. Uh, I guess we could have <laughs> copied. I guess it wouldn't have been enough because it wouldn't have been... That is the queens we could have copied. Wait, do we, do we have the diamonds? No, we have okay, hearts. Ooh. We have hearts. You scared me for a second. I was like, <laughs> oh, did we die? Did we do it? Because that happened to me. In my run, I hit the, the hearts debuff. Um, yeah, if you really want to go for like optimal scoring, mm -hmm. you know, in the next two minutes while you're doing the cryptids, I'll explain it to you. But, yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, you want to have a split of triggers and re-triggers, even split, mm -hmm. as close to even as possible. Because like, 
you know, two times six is less than four times four. Yeah. Right? And so you count the card itself and then the red seal, that's already two triggers. And then steel is already one effect. And then Baron is another effect. And so, yeah, maybe as long as you have an even amount of mimes and barons, then you're good. Oh, true. So I could like copy three mimes, copy baron three times or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Or maybe the other way around. Yeah, that'll do it. You know, arrange them however is most aesthetically pleasing, obviously. True. <laughs> Because I think it gets there either way. Yeah. All right, everyone, get your pogs ready. <laughs> Has anyone been able to do this unseated yet? Uh, I did. Oh, you did? Unseated. Yeah. What's the and, uh, the lowest anti someone's been able to do it so far? Um, I think anti seventeen was my unseated run. Mm-hmm. And so maybe this is the earliest seeded run. Anti-12 is pretty early. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just being able to find the jokers is probably the issue. And I guess stacking up cryptids early is also a problem because we had so many copies. Yeah. yeah. And here, you know, with the Baron and the Mime, you actually only need like 20 cryptids. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little overkill. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the animation is going to play for like two minutes. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's see if we can select this gold card. Yeah. There right, we get go. The, make sure we get the the screenshot for the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks so wild. Yeah, and your deck too is now three hundred cards. If we do a deck peek. So if we had a steel joker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play it. I think this is good. Yeah, can you imagine Steel Joker with, you know, 300 Steel cards? It gives, what, 0. 0.25? So it'd yeah. be, like, almost 100x. All right, well, this might take a second. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to ask you, uh, before the stream started, you were talking about, you know, want, liking to go into some games without any spoilers. Mm -hmm. You know, how was your Bellatro experience? Uh, it was great. Yeah, I started, like, I didn't want to unlock the collection and look at all of them. And, like, even with the demo, I didn't want to look at them. I think it's a lot yeah. better to not, like, look up stuff before you go in. But obviously, like, if you're wanting to go for, like, crazy high stuff like this very soon, you need to, like, yeah, look yeah, up everything. Yeah, yeah. Be like, yeah, I, still we, have, uh, I still have my account that's like not unlocked to get all the achievements and then an unlocked one just to play like the wild stuff. Yeah. Yeah, when I, um, you know, when the game first launched, I wanted to do like the crazy high anti run or whatever. So I mm -hmm. unlocked the account right away so that I could do it. Um, but then it's been fun to go back and just do, uh, you know, a fresh account and go through all the unlocks and, you know, oh, discover yeah. everything. Okay, it looks like it's almost at the uh, break point, and we're only like a, f a tenth of the way through <laughs> our hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will and it just keep going? Will it just keep getting bigger? <laughs> like, does it stop once it hits, or it goes through the whole way? Uh, it, it'll keep processing. <laughs> My computer might not be able to handle it. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, I mean, earlier it couldn't handle the, the double string. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then imagine if this, I mean, I guess this wouldn't be possible on Plasma. Evens it out. Infinite so, times infinite. <laughs> in, uh, in Plasma, you can actually get the Spectral cards from um, the Sixth Sense or from Oh, Chaos. true. It's just much harder. So, uh, you know, maybe on a seated run where you, like, know what Spectral cards you're going to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how big the numbers are getting is taking up the whole screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, that's a that's a good uh, thumbnail too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're gonna beat this boss. That uh, that diamond debuff is pretty brutal. <laughs> oh man. 
I just assumed there was like, uh, it just kept, cause you know, like it starts playing faster the longer your hand goes on. I assumed yeah. it would just keep getting like infinitely faster, but it seems like there's like a cap of how fast the hand can play out. Or maybe yeah, it just yeah. like scales maybe, slower. Maybe it puts a cap on it. You know, that's just the, the game engine so that it doesn't, you know, use up all your processing power. Mm -hmm. So now the goal yeah, is for someone I've to played... hit this before anti-8. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the next challenge. You know, now that we know people can go infinite, mm -hmm. the the high score is going to be how early. How or early if you, I wonder, has anyone been able to hit it on uh, like gold chip yet? Oh yeah, uh, with the eternal oh, broke. jokers. Yep, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> So about, I don't know, a third way through, mm -hmm. you know, maybe a little bit less than a third. At least it shows yeah, our chip the, value. On the, the higher stakes, the booster packs increase in cost each ante. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get to ante 12 and you got a $20 booster pack. Yeah, I've uh, only beat gold chip on the red deck so far. Just like the okay, starter yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, for like just learning the game and like learning the higher stakes, I recommend, you know, kind of the starter decks, mm -hmm. you know, because they're very consistent. The extra discard from the red deck it helps a lot. Yeah, I definitely um, cheesed it, though. I had the burn joker in the first shop and then yeah. stencil joker and I sold everything and only had one stencil joker at the very end <laughs> with a very high leveled hey. pair. Hey, that's legit. You know, people asked before in the chat about like win rate and you know, if I'm just playing without resetting, I think my win rate on gold chips are maybe, you know, like 10 to 20%. Mm -hmm. And so like you get some of the decks unlocked by winning on the higher stakes. And so if you just need that unlock, go for the resets, go for, you know, whatever's going to be fun for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like on gold chip, just getting a joker that can help you like win in one go just to get as much like money from hands left as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, getting an early kind of value generating Joker, like uh, Vagabond is obviously the strongest, but oh, yeah. even just like Cardomancer or Hallucination can help a lot. Mm -hmm. Will it show the, uh, I, I see the A in between the two scores. Will it show like not a number at the end of the round? Yeah, it'll show a... Uh, you know where it says round score? It'll show up there. I love how the flames just get too big. <laughs> they just break. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, you know, kind of in general, I like that the flames get taller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a, a really nice... You know, the, the game, you know, part of what drew me to it, not just the art assets, but all of the UI stuff is really clean. Um, I think it has a lot of charm. Yeah, I think all the art and stuff is fantastic. I love yeah, all the like designs the, of all the jokers. Yeah, you know, here we've got the the coffee stains on the the blueprint or mm -hmm. uh, the brainstorm. I think that's really charming, the napkin. I know it's very early on, but I'm interested to see if like mod support becomes a thing. Oh, like officially? Like, you know, some coding nerds have already figured yeah. it out. Yeah, there like official support. Official mods. Cause I feel like like there's so many just like cool ideas for jokers that people could just add, and like the art is great, but it is pixel art, so like a lot of modders that have some experience could make some that look pretty good. Yeah, did you see? Uh, Local Funk did like an interview on Gothic Lord UK's YouTube channel. Oh no, I didn't see that. Yeah, uh, you know, for anyone who hasn't seen that yet, go to Gothic Lord UK on YouTube. You know, another kind of great. I'm um, content creator, you know, just really chill vibes. Um, but he did a, an interview with Local Thunk, and what he said was, you know, it's kind of lucky the design space sort of just builds itself. You know, mm -hmm. it, anyone can design jokers for this game. Yeah, it seems very easy to add because then you just put it in the random pool, and like, if they're too strong, whatever, it's a single player game. Like, you can take them out. Yeah. Yeah, so he's definitely interested in mod, you know, official mod support, you know, sometime in the future. You know, mm -hmm. maybe not first thing on launch, but no, definitely course. something in the future.
because he just wants to see what all the cool stuff that the community creates. Yeah, because I mean, even in the demo, like I think Thunk got a lot of ideas just from people in the Discord, like suggesting designs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would also love to see some type of co-op or multiplayer. I know that's a much harder ask, but kind of like yeah. how they created the uh, like Slay the Spire co-op mod. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm not really sure how co-op would work, but like a heads up score challenge, mm -hmm. you know, could be kind of fun. Head to head. I know co-op in Slay the Spire, it's kind of like you have shared stuff and you just like you kind of play through it individually. Um, but I guess Slay the Spire is a little bit different. Because like here, like, what would you share? Just money and jokers or something? But yeah, head to head would be cool as well. Yeah, maybe you got like, you both play hands and then it adds the score together. And maybe you have one person carrying the score and one person carrying the economy. And you just have like different joker sets. Mm -hmm. Or like versus you could give them debuffs or worse jokers or like remove their jokers or something. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like competitive. Maybe you're trying to, you know, defeat each other, handicap each other. Mm -hmm. We're close. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> hey, I mean, it gives us the opportunity to chat, right? Yeah. I wonder what it's doing on the back end right now. Like, once it's hit, like, is it just not doing anything? It's like, yeah, we reached the end. We're just going through. Yeah, it's like, I already know what's happened. I already calculated. It's just the animations right now. I think the Joker I want to see is I want to see an Exodia Joker. I think if you get all four of the suit Jokers, they combine into one. And then maybe it just triggers off every single suit. So every single card. Oh, we're so close. I feel like we couldn't even survive the next one if we wanted to, because we have no cryptids left. Oh, there we go. Not a number. And now it's discarding all of our cards. <laughs> They're just flying off to the side. <laughs> all right. That's <laughs> such a large deck. <laughs> 